Hey, we're excited to announce single sign-on for Dr. Business. SSO provides user management and added security for your organization. Also, your users can log into Docker easily without having to use multiple sign-in credentials for different applications. So how does SSO work? When SSO is enabled, your users are redirected to your provider's authentication page to authenticate using SSO. They can no longer authenticate using their personal login credentials, such as Docker ID and password. Docker currently supports enabling SSO for single organizations. If your users have different domains, you can add them as a guest or include them in a subdomain to configure SSO. Before enabling SSO, locate the Assertion Consumer Service URL and the Entity ID. This is located on the Security Settings page in Docker Hub. Then your admin will connect the IDP server to Docker Hub. Before getting started, make sure you have the following. So first, what you wanna do is notify your company about the new SSO login procedures. And then you wanna verify that all of your org members have the latest version of Docker Desktop, which at the moment is 4.4.0, and make sure that it's on their machines. Also, you wanna request that each of your org member creates a personal access token or a PAT to replace their passwords if they wanna work in the CLI. And then you wanna confirm that all of the CICD pipelines have replaced their passwords with PATs. And you want to make sure that you test your SSO using your domain email address and IDP password so that you can log into Docker Hub successfully. So you definitely want to make sure that you can do that. And then you need to obtain the correct URL from your identity provider. And this can be the client ID, the entity ID, or it can be something else. So make sure you uh, get the applicable URL. Here's some tips I like to share. Some of your org members may have existing Docker accounts, and so when you enforce SSO, these users will no longer own their content associated with the org email address. So to retain their accounts, your org members should change their email address and create another user. Also, for new users without an existing Docker account, they're automatically provisioned an account when they log in with their company email address after you enforce SSO. So I hope these uh, tips come in handy. So once you've established a connection between your IDP server and you have completed your prerequisites, you can then log into your organization and Docker Hub to complete the SSO enablement process. Let me show you how. Log into Docker Hub and select Organizations. Select the organization you would like to enable SSO on. Click the Settings tab and select Security. Choose the authentication method based on your identity provider. In the Identity Provider Setup, copy the values for your IDP. Log into your IDP and complete the configuration process. After you've obtained the applicable information from your IDP, navigate to the Settings section to paste the values. And click Save. Next, you're going to add the domain for your organization. Copy the provided TXT record and navigate to your DNS and locate the settings page to add your new record. Please note that it can take up to 72 hours for your DNS to verify the domain. You can add additional domains in the Add Domains or enable the account in your IDP. To enforce SSO, make sure that you've tested SSO connection by logging in and logging out successfully using your org credentials. Confirm that all of your users have upgraded to Docker Desktop 4.4.0 or higher and inform them that they must use their corporate email address to log in instead of their Docker ID. Confirm that all users will be using self-administered personal access tokens to authenticate with Docker CLI going forward. Confirm that all automation and CICD pipelines have converted from password-based authentication to using PATs. Once you've confirmed all of the steps, you can then turn on enforcement. Once you click turn on enforcement, you'll receive a confirmation. Also note that if you want to turn off SSO and revert back to Docker's built-in authentication, you have to turn off enforcement. Your members aren't forced to authenticate through your IDP and can log into Docker using their personal credentials while SSO is off. Thank you for watching this video on how to set up your SSO account.